My name is Denise Sylvie. I'm now production supervisor of The Mousetrap and have been for the last four years. But before that, I played Miss Casewell twice. My name is Natasha Rickman and I am playing Miss Casewell in the West End at the moment in the 60th year of The Mousetrap. So when it started in 1952, Agatha Christie thought it was going to run for a few months in the West End. She said, I think we've got a nice little run out of this. And a few months turned into, as it's 60 years, so it moved to the St Martin's Theatre in 1973. So it's been here for 40 years now. Um, right, we're going to take you on a guided tour of the backstage of the Mousetrap. Um, first of all, it's the snow room. So you come inside behind the beautiful velvet curtain and, uh, and in you come and then you can see up on the ceiling we have this sort of twisty pipe which is where the snow comes from uh, but you mustn't look at it because otherwise your eyes will be burnt. Uh, main tip for the snow room. Um, so I think Denise, are you, you going to do it? This is the first yes. time I've ever done this so here we go. Right. Here we go. So there we are, we're all snowed up, and then as once you arrive on stage, throughout your first scene, the snow will magically melt away, uh, like real snow would, which is great. This is the wind machine, and this is one of the original props. It's been in the show for 60 years. And you can see it has the original producer's name along here, Peter Saunders, who, well, yes, was the original producer of The Mousetrap right back in 1952. So here we go. That. Sounds like murder. Whoa. <laughs> so right now I'm standing in the snow that happens outside of the windows of Monkswell Manor um, where it's already snowing when the guests arrive but it's going to end in them being snowed in, I can tell you that much. It's snowing and it's evening when they're all arriving so uh, we've got this nice blue lighting um, as you can see and from the front this is the snow that you see through the windows. We have one prop on the set which is from the original production and that is the clock. So that clock is 60 years old and it is still working brilliantly. Now you may be wondering why these coats are all here. Every character in the show arrives in a dark overcoat, a light scarf and a soft felt hat because that's what the murderer was wearing. One, two, three. There's one missing. Tash! 